What up, y'all? Thanks for supporting that Street Knowledge Report. We just went through something with uh, French Montana. Went through a, a you know segment of French Montana's video shoot getting shot up. And uh, now I got something real humongously big for y'all. Um, he's very well known out here for, you know, as the, the lover boy of 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 uh, Durham, the Bull City. He was highly respected out here. And um, he's been gone for 14 years and nobody heard from him in a while. He's been putting together his case and trying to fight from to get from behind them walls. And he's here to correct a few things that's been going on. And, you know, we want to speak some positive things. We're not even going to get into too much of the negative stuff because that's irrelevant. It's about getting our black brothers from all, uh, over that wall that's in there unjust, man. So I got some big, man. Guess who's on the phone? Speak to him, my nigga. Yo, 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 what's up, baby? What's, ha what's happening, man? What's going on? It's your boy, man. It's Face Diddy, man. What's happening? The, 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 the notorious Face Diddy on the phone, y'all. And it don't get no better than this, man. Tell them, man. Tell them what's been going on, man. You ain't speak out since, I mean, 14 years, my brother. Man, you know, man, I'm just building, man. Just trying to be positive, man. Educate myself, man. Right. You know, and, and you know, just, just, um, just, just learning to be a better me, bro. You that, know what I'm saying? And, and making those uh, around me better. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what's up, my brother. So, you know? since you've been gone, man, I know you've been hearing all these young cats out here killing out here like it's a sport. And things oh, of that man. nature, man. How you feel about that, man? Man, it, it's heartbreaking, bro. It's, especially, you know, my, myself having sons and, and, and right. you know, and, and they running around out there, man. It, it's heartbreaking, bro. Just to see a, a, a generation, man, that has so much courage and um, just, just to be using it in, in, in their own direction, against, you know, against their own people, man. Just tearing down our community, man. It's, it's heartbreaking, bro. Yeah, man. And, um, you know, we, we just got to figure out, man, how to how to get the message to them, man? You know, and let them know, man. That you know, it's a better it's a better way. You know what I mean? Right. So, quick question, man. I'm 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 hearing about well, your book is one thing. So we we're gonna get that ready for for Amazon so people can buy it. So okay. that's that's one thing. And I'm, tell them about the, the the ghost situation. How easy it is to get in there so these kids can understand, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like you were just saying, man. You spoke of my book. My book is called Relevant Conduct leads to mass incarceration. And uh, what my book talks about, man, it, it talks about how they use uh, what's called relevant conduct, but we, 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 we call it, in here we call it ghost dope. How they use uh, drugs that's uh, uncharged, acquitted, or either dismissed conduct. Right. They use their sentence in order to enhance your sentence, man, you know, by decades and sometimes even up to life, in, uh, life imprisonment. Wow. You know, for, thing, for things that you would never... Convicted of, but they, but they're used to enhance your sentence. That sentence, right? Yeah. So basically, that's that's like entrapment. They'll set up something or get somebody to say you bought a certain amount of drugs for. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, okay. Let me give you the best example I can give you is this. Um, let's just say, um, um, you know, um, you know, you may have been on investigating on investigation, right? And uh, and over the years, uh, over the months. Uh, there has been statements that have been wrote, wrote on you. You may only get caught with uh, seven grams. You know that that's a, that's the, that's enough to put in your in, in, in the palm of your hand and close your close your hand. Wow. And uh, so you can get caught with seven grams, but by the time you you reach sentencing, you may be getting sentenced for ten kilos. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I mean, and 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 um, just a uh, dramatic. Uh, enhancement of, of the drug weight like that, man, it, 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 it makes sure your sentence jumps from from, from uh, 30, let's just say 30, 30 months all the way up to uh, 15 years, 20 years, wow. 30 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's crazy, man, the, the, the draconian sentences that's being handed out, man, for what's called acquitted conduct. But um, the good news, uh, there is, there's, a, there's a, some possible good news on it. Uh, the Supreme Court just... Um, uh, decided that they was going to hear the case, so hopefully we, we can get that done away with right. sooner than later. So <laughs> what he's saying, y'all, understand what he's saying. You could sell somebody five grams one time, just five grams that probably would get you one year. But they'll let the person keep coming to you and buy five grams ten times. But, 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 uh, but, but that's not even necessarily it, but they don't have to come to you no more. Uh, see, oh, that's even worse. I'm listening. The period of the investigation, 
you know, they, there may be people that have those statements on you. Right. But, you, you know, those drugs, they, they, they're just statements. You know, they, they, those drugs were never tested. They, they're not in a physical form. Right. You know, they're just statements. Right. But if this person say, well, I dealt with, with, with Big Boosie uh, for, um, for two years straight and I bought an ounce. Right. They're going to add one ounce up for, for, for a whole two years. Right, and and and, and those drugs are, is going to be contributed to your sentence. Right, you know what I mean. You know, we got we got what's called um a, a sentencing chart. So those those drugs are going to go. It's going to take you from one year all the way down the chart. Man, you end up with thirty years. Right. Wow. For, for drugs that was never tested, that never, never tested, seen, or nothing. It just solely off of statements. And what and what we do know from being in the streets. When you actually get caught with drugs, the, if the drugs get tested and they come back negative, the case is won. You 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 will right. beat the case. So now, for That's somebody right. to actually say I bought several times, several times, and it might not be true, or even if it is true and it haven't been tested, how can they even get a conviction? That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's the thing about it. That's why it's called uncharged, dismissed, and acquitted conduct because... Um, you know, you're not convicted of it. You're just sentenced to it, and that's where the due process violation comes in, right. which is your fifth amendment. Which is your fifth amendment right. Right. And that's where the sixth amendment right comes in. Your right to a jury trial. Right. Because that's why we have these steps in in, in place, uh, like a chain of custody. Man, you must be indicted. You know what I mean? That's how you get charged. Then you must be convicted. Right. Then you get sentenced. You don't get sentenced. Without a conviction, you must be convicted in order to be sentenced. Right, that's crazy, man. Right. That's crazy. Like right now, my, my, my listen, bro. My whole case right now is based on ghost though. Right, because they didn't I, need I to catch you. I ain't been caught with nothing, you, Boosie, you, you know that. Big I know that for a fact. You ain't get caught with nothing, man. That's crazy. But I, I'm <laughs> serving a life sentence, you know, for a non-violent drug offense. You know, I know people may think that. I, I, um, based on stories they may have heard, like thinking, like, oh, they had to have violence. No, there's no violence in this case. I don't have any charge violence. I'm not sentenced for anything violent. And me, I have a non-violent drug offense. And me remembering the case, they thought that they was gonna when they was investigating you that they thought that you was going to have a bunch of murders talked about, and there was not even no murders talked about in your none, case. None and, of that, brother. None of that. And that's so that's why I mean, it's important today, man, for us to. To educate people, man, on um, on, on this system, man, you know, right, you know, um, you know, because the, 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 these these laws, man, and these the sentencing guidelines, they're they're they're, they're misplaced, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, uh, the person who killed El Chapo, he he, he had th tens of thousands of bodies in this case, and tons and tons of drugs, right? And they had the same sentence. Wow, now that's deep. So you know. What would you give the youth out here some pointers on thinking that selling drugs and all that is cool because they don't understand there's the other side to having fun and glory. And then that's the pretty side. Then the dark side is when the police come get you. So, you know, elaborate on that for me. All right. Well, first and foremost, man, um, I want to I want to say this to the youth and I want to say this to all black men. Um, you know, first of all, man, we are each other's responsibility. Facts. You know what I mean? Um, uh, because you are my brother, man, you know, and um, and we have to realize, bro, that, you know, that when, when, when I do something to hurt you or you do something to hurt me, man, it's just not you you that's affected, man. There's a whole family, a whole generation of, of people, you know what I'm saying, that's affected by what I may do to you or what you may do, do to me. That's right. why, you know, one of the main... Um, courses that I took back here that was that, that that had a big effect on me was victim impact. Right. Because we we, we, we don't really realize the effect that we have um, on people uh, even sometimes years on down the line. So what, what what I would say to the youth man is that man you know figure out a better way man to, to resolve your issues man. Figure, figure out a better way to, to resolve your issues man because you know we even behind so many young 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 babies man that that's growing up with no one to look 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 up to to look to look 
looking forward to, man. Right. If you don't, if you don't want to live for you, man, live for them. Right. Live, live for your babies, man. Live for your mom, man. Like you know, y'all actions, man, is devastating people, man. You know what I mean? When, when your mom got to go and bury her child. Right. If, if you don't care for you, care for your mom. Care for you. Care for your kids, man. Get get them a, 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 a equal opportunity, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I I, 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 I I always ask a lot of these young guys in here, you know, like, uh, that's you know, especially the ones that's in games. Like, would you want your child to be um, a game member? And they always tell me no. Right. Well, I say, well, well if you don't want to, well, well, why would you indulge in that stuff if you wouldn't want that for your own child? Because you are your mother's child. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, we, we just have to, we, we as, um, as, as the older guys, man, we have to, we have to figure out how to communicate, um, effectively, man, in a way where these youngsters, man, they can understand, man. Because it, 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 it all began with us, man. This, this is just, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This, this what we see now, bro, is just a result of, of of our poor leadership when we was coming up, Facts. And, and, and 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 the men that came before us, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that's why, man, I, I don't glorify that, that street life anymore, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm seeing the real effects of it now. I got right. I got I got grandchildren now, man, and. And one of one of my grandsons, Papa, that's all he know, Papa. Right. He always asks, Papa, when you coming home? Right. And, and, and right now, I can't answer that question for him. Right. And it breaks my heart to not even be able to answer him because, like, I'm his world, he's my world. But you know, you know, he don't understand that the decisions that Papa made that you know is um you know caused me to, to be in this situation. Right. Although the, the life sentence is is misplaced, you know what I mean. Um, but um. I'm, I'm suffering from decisions that I made, man, and I want anybody to, to um, you know, that's listening, man, to be able to, to learn from my mistakes. Don't, 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 don't be um, a victim of, of this system. Right. You know what I'm saying, man? Because these people, they, 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 they get you, man. I don't want to let you go. Right. Right. They make more money off you being inside of there. That's what the ki the kids exactly. don't know neither. You, you really are property, like a pair of clothes. And oh, stuff. Yeah, man, for real. So one thing I want to get into something real deep. As far as I, I want to say, people always say something to me about somebody being a rat and snitching and stuff like that. And first thing I'm a t I tell them is, I don't tell me nothing about nobody ratting if you don't show them no paperwork. I really don't right. want to hear about right. that, right? So right. you you know we 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 got a a, a good a, we share a mutual friend which is Balboa uh -huh. out here. On the streets, yeah, niggas. Yeah, my brother, no question. Yeah, and you know these cats out here, some you know tarnished his name, and he had to. He went through a lot behind trying to walk in the store and see some friends or people looking at him funny or sideways because they said that he ratted on you. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! I just yeah, need you to elaborate yeah, to the world hey, and let them know. Hey, listen, my brother. Yeah. I went to trial, man. Every document that that's possible to have, I got it. Right. That man never, at no time, point, any time, made any kind of statements to the police about me or nobody else. Right. If he would have, I would know. Right. That man ain't that man ain't told on me or nobody else. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and that would be the man. The man been taking care of me since I've been in prison. So wow. That, that Right. That, that's my brother, man. That, that's no truth to that. Right. None whatsoever. Not, not even a brain of it. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear this, so we can clear that up. Because it's not right to have a brother walking around out there with a, a, a snitch name on it. Because that's dangerous. People will kill you behind something like that. Yeah, man. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And I, me, I know Balboa. I told when I heard the story, I told people I've been around Balboa and I've been around Face. I, I'm yeah. probably the one that might have introduced y'all because I know Balboa from music. You told me you wanted to do right. music, so I think I right. took you to the studio. But right. me being around you and him, I knew for a fact y'all wasn't selling no drugs or doing nothing together. I, I'm telling the people, yeah, exactly, I was telling people that. So, but I, you know, they ain't gonna want to hear it from me. So people love negative stuff that'll travel quicker than the truth. When the stuff is the truth, 
nobody that fades away. But something negative, so people could laugh at a person or just have right. something bad to say. That that goes quicker than anything. I remember. Ain't no question, man. This this the truth for the matter, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever, man. Uh, anything that happens to you in that room came from 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 little from little uh little stuff that was found in the studio. Bob Boy had nothing to do with that stuff that was found in the studio. Right. Whatever was found in that studio belonged to me. Right. That, that, man, that, that man ain't had nothing to do with none of that stuff. That man is, is an artist, a businessman, a father, you know what I mean? And, right. and, and, and my brother. So right. I, I don't know who, I don't know who, where they come from. It, I don't even care to discuss where it come from. Right. But I'm just here to correct the record that my brother ain't told on me or nobody else. Facts. And, and you know, quick quick story. Like when you when you had the, the house in Atlanta and the, and the feds was all down there deep when they was trying to find everybody. Yeah. Um, um, it was a bunch of the feds cars outside of uh, you and Balboa house that y'all had down there. Yeah. And Gangsta Lou was in there. So yeah. Gangsta Lou, this is what Gangsta Lou told me. He said, "Yo, that dude Balboa, that dude crazy." I said, "Why?" He said, "The feds was parked deep." He said, "We ain't know who they was though, but." You could tell them them type of cars was some strange boy car. I seen it before. He said Bob Boy went to the car knocking on their windows. Like, who, who are y'all? He said they wouldn't even look at him, nothing. Standing and, strong. And, and, listen, and I, I'm glad you just brought that up. Because now, 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 now Big Boosie, we, we don't been in the streets. We know people in the streets or whatever, right? Facts. So me and you went and there and thought about running them to, up to them people called at all and, and, and knocking on the window, right? Bob Boy gangster. So, only a man who know he has nothing to do with the streets and, and nothing illegal gonna <laughs> ever have the balls to go up to a federal car and knock on the window. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> so that says it all right there. And this came from Gangster Lou Mouth because he was in the, at the crib. And they told him, we know you want to run for a shooting and all that. We ain't worried about you. You can go ahead. <laughs> when they did come up in there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just how it went. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just wanted to clear that up. You know what I'm saying? Because now yeah. I'm, I'm going to call Bob Bo and have a sit down with him one day this week. And we're going to okay. go over everything with him. And, you know, he's got a new single and all that that he's pushing with you. So I want to discuss those things. But right. I want to still have you come back so we can you know go over some stories that right, right. Face Diddy can give to the kids, how you began and all that stuff. We want to tell right. these stories so that they'll understand how it began. And you you know you had your ups and your downs when you start really right. taking off, taking off, right. and you had right. fun with it. Then we want to ease it right into where it's got you sitting behind the bars so they'll understand right. what you're saying right now. Sugar, everything that's glitter ain't gold, and all sugar ain't sweet, man. For real. That no, that's right, man. Because um, man, listen, man, that's nothing, bro. That that's worth coming in here and spending the rest of your life, man. Right. And that's nothing, man. I mean, man, life is so precious, man, and it's just like out there now, man. It's like no regards for 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 life, man. And we got to get get these kids, this this these youngsters back, man, to where they want to live again, bro. Right. Right, because they act like, damn, they don't care. It's just whoever next to die. If you go out there and you kill up something and don't get killed, then we'll see you when you get back in the house and we'll pat you on the back like it's a reward to make it back in the house. Exactly, man. But it, it, it all comes from a lack of guidance, man. And we got to strategize, man, and, and start putting, um, you know, we, we got to get that funding, man, you know, and put it back into our communities, man, and right. give these kids, you know, you know something to, to pay attention to, man. Rather than all the violence and the negativity that's going on around them. Right. Right. I, I admire the kids by them sticking together, but they can stick together and do more positive things with it instead yeah, of going to kill each other. Exactly. Go go start a party up. It's 20 of y'all or 30 or 50 of y'all. Go get a club. Go get you some flyers and everybody everywhere passing the flyers out. And get the right. you hold the door down. You hold the inside down. At the end of the night, y'all split the money up. And, and do positive things and go at least you go home to your family. Forget yeah. some sometimes it's see, I'm listening. See, see what we need to do, man. Um we, we, we need to start teaching them now, bro, about how to start a business, how to create an LLC. Right. How to get an EIN, how to get a Dunn and Brad Street, you know the number, you know what I'm saying? Facts. How, how to how to um how to how to build credit, personal and business. Facts. We gotta we gotta get get us one of those uh community center or somewhere, bro. 
and start teaching them now, bro, because a lot of them, they want better. They just don't know how to do that. And guess what? We got and, one. And it's, and it's our responsibility to teach them, to take their hand and guide them, bro. Because mm -hmm. a lot of them, they be so frustrated because they feel like they should know certain things, but they don't know because they was not taught early on. So they, they don't. They have too much pride to come out of X. Let's take them from A to Z, bro. That's a you fact. Know I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See, I, I was also a, um, a, a, a facilitator in here for, for a program called Focus on the Family, right. and, and, and it just teaches you know teaches you about family morals, values, and stuff like that. Man, we have to take it back, man, from the basics, bro. And, you know what I'm saying, and, and start teaching them and, and, and re raising our, 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 our kids, man. Yes, that's a fact. Well, guess what, bro? We got a community center. It's called the Shabella Recreational Center in Durham. You know, and it's off of Shannon Road where the old uh, okay. South Square used to be. And okay. and we we going to be teaching all that stuff, cooking classes, okay. sewing classes, right. uh, business. Yeah. We're going to teach all that stuff you just said. So I'm glad you okay. said that, for real. Well, well, one of the reasons why I brought it up, Big Boosie Man, because I, I'm proud. First of all, I want to congratulate you and, and, and let you know, Matt, that I'm proud of you. Because even back here, Big Boosie, I've been hearing about all the wonderful things that you've been doing in our community. And um, I wanted to, I wanted to extend my hand and let you know if there's anything I can do, bro, in any kind of way, man, as long as it's positive, bro, I'm on board. And I know with you, bro, everything is all positive, man. So I'm Thanks. on board if you need me in any kind of way, bro. No, nah, I appreciate that, bro. And 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 you know, vice versa. This this is what it's all about. We want to show how we uh be each other's crutches, not crabs in the barrel. And right now is a good is a good teaching because like when I did speak to Bob Boy on the phone, all he said is his goal is to get his brother face out of jail. So no doubt. that no doubt. and it's been fourteen years. And you know, that's what people need to understand. Sometimes when you in that jail, it's out of sight, out of mind, nobody don't care no more. That that fly ass nigga that was out here in the street, they don't care nothing about it no more. They worry about the other fly niggas coming up so they can run in and chase them down. That ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? But my brother Unique, he loved me to death because I held him down the whole 26 years. My brother 730E, I held him down 17 years. So what my boy doing is commendable as well. You know what I'm saying? And now we're getting ready to show the youth how it happens. They about to see the process from here on out. And if right. Balboa, think, uh, we we gonna speak it into the existence. When Balboa get you up out of that prison, right. that's gonna raise the bar. That's gonna show, make make ring big bells and show these kids this is how we do and do yeah. for hours. That's that's gone. You don't forget about them. That's right, bro. Because we was there, man, when, when everything was all good and dandy, man. So we got to be there when things is not so good, man. Facts. And you gotta and you gotta shout out to the women, man, because the women, man, are the most uh, incredible creature, man, that God has created, man, because that's who steps up, bro, when everybody else, when no one else is around, man, and God blessed me with a wonderful, wonderful wife of my own, man, that, that's been riding with me, man, since day one, man, right. so we gotta shout the women out, man, because that's who step up, man, when all when all the glory and all the friends are gone. That's a fact. I've been, I've, I've been that route before, you know, and, and I had uh, a few good women help me down, and mainly, definitely, was my mom's and you know oh, like you just said earlier what we do really hurts them the most that, you know what i'm right, saying man. and see you know i read an article man that a judge said before he said you don't lock up a, um you don't lock up a defendant without locking up the family so guess what as long as we in behind bars, bro our families are also incarcerated right and we have to figure out bro how to keep our families free as well as ourselves. Right, that's deep right there. That's that's very deep. So, how was your mom's doing? She got caught up in in the uh, in the situation for nothing. Man, my mom is doing good, man. You know, glad to hear that. A, a bunch of lives was told on her, bro. But man, you know, um, I, you know, Boosie, man, I, I realized, bro, that this that's that's um that's 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 positive in in, in every situation, right. no matter how ugly they may seem. So. You know, um, um, you know, we just took the positive out of it, bro. Um, you know, and and just continue to strive, man. But, but but she's doing good, bro. She's back out. She's doing good. She really served time for, for lies. 
for nothing, so for things that she'd never done. But it's all good, man, because it was a learning experience. Right. And uh, and uh, we just moving forward, bro. How much time does she do? She done exactly nine years and three months. Wow. And this woman never had a, a parking ticket. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. The government, the government, boy, they the biggest gang on this planet. I tell people that it's only two G's in this world that you better be scared of. That's God and the government. And the government. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Because they, they, they gangster, man. Yeah, they, they, they definitely gangster, baby. Them the real gangster. So, yo, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I know you said you gotta go and go study and stuff. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue this conversation. So, you know, you let me know. You know, you know, figure out a few good stories that you want to let them know. Or, well, basically, just start from the beginning how you actually blew up into, you know, to the uh, the, the the way that the, the government portrays you to be and put you behind bars. But we want to show the, the, the beautiful part, and then we're going to get to the ending part. So we're going to do this again, and hopefully we can stir up the pot out here and, 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 and people start putting putting in some help towards, you know, a foundation for you to help get you some big dog lawyers to get you up out of this situation, man. For real. Yeah, no doubt, man. And at the same time, man, uh, you know, anybody listening, man, go check out change.org, man, and go sign my petition. You know what I'm saying? You know, because sometimes, man, you, know, it's, you can do more than just, um, you know, uh, extend financial support, man. You can, we, we, can, we can raise awareness right. to, to, the, to the injustice of the system. Oh, and of my draconian sentence for a non-violent drug offense. So you can always contact your congressman, you know what I'm saying, and let them know, man, that, you know, they push it, push it on criminal justice reform. Right. You know what I mean? So let's wait, raise awareness, man. Like I said, go to change.org, just type my name in, Donald Sheely, man, and sign my petition, man. And, and that's, uh, there's a space on that way you can, um, you can leave a comment, you know, whatever kind of comment you want to leave about how you feel about the situation. Right. Okay. And that's what we're going to do, man. We're going uh, to we, we gonna continue this one um, another time, get people sit back a chance to marinate on this, and we're going to get some comments and see, you know, what they're saying. And some of your, your, your fan base that was that is out here probably want me to ask you a few questions. So I'll have some questions from the fans out there. Right that followed your music and what you was doing out here. Right. Right. You know, the the good part. So that's what we're going to do, bro. We're going we, we're gonna to start elaborating on that. Say less, bro. I'm here, man. Whatever you need, bro, you know. You know, you, you on my email, man. So all you got to do is just email me on Correlates, and um, I'll hit you right back. All right. I got you. That's what's all up. Right. All right. Say less, bro. Say less. <laughs> There y'all got it. Y'all got it from Face Diddy himself. Right here, street knowledge, man. Y'all, we bringing that knowledge. We bringing you the the the, the big the big stories because it's important. It's very important. Y'all kids out there, man. Y'all gotta understand. It's not a game out there. It's it's not a game. They got somewhere for you. You can have fun. You can sell drugs. You can shoot. You can kill. You can run and hide. But they gonna find a way to come and get you. And take you on the other side. And when you get on the other side, you just heard it from a guy that's sitting in there right now. And it's not really, it's, it's not a real good, feel good situation. I've been that route. And another thing, don't don't say nothing about nobody snitching if nobody don't say, here, here's the paperwork. And it looked like some real legitimate paperwork on top of that. But don't, that's, that's not good to put on nobody because you can actually get somebody killed for saying stuff like that. Even though they don't really kill snitches out here no more, but you never know. Somebody might take it upon themselves to want to. Look, Alpo just got killed, and that's just because of his name and who he was. You know what I'm saying? But don't wish jail on nobody. I don't wish death on nobody. Only thing we can do is do better. So all the real big dogs is coming home now. So like Face just said, it's the guidance. All the real big dogs is locked up, or some of them ain't even in the streets no more and don't care about the streets. So y'all don't have nobody to listen to except your big homie that never really been nowhere. Your big homie that don't even know the law. Just have you out there running up and doing stuff. If, 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 if somebody asks me to go steal some blinds, I'm going to say, well, how much time do it, do it get before I run up in there and do it? I ain't saying I ain't going to do it. I might run up in there and steal the blinds for you or for myself. I just want to know how much time it's facing so I can tell you right now, yes or no. That's what y'all need to be doing. You're selling drugs, understand the time you're getting. 
But I'm going to be educating y'all on this street knowledge stuff. I'm going I'm to I'm keep educating y'all on the laws and bringing in guys that's actually going through it. So y'all need to keep watching this and spread the word and share. Share this, this, this video at all times, man. Because it's not a game out here, man. We care about our youth. And like you said, your parents and your kids are the ones going to suffer when you die or go to jail, man. So y'all get, get it right. We got more things to come. And um, make sure y'all keep checking out the Street Knowledge Report. We're going to be coming in with live news. With, you know, when, when things hit the fan, we're going to give it to y'all first and real fast. And comment and, and, and hit that like button and subscribe. <clears throat> and, you know, hit that cash app button, man. You know, anything. Nothing is, is, is too big. 25 cent. Whatever. Because we working hard for y'all to give y'all this information. And see y'all later. Your boy Big Boosie.